Wowzers, trousers, look at that. Sack the cleaner. Oh, it's like carpet. So, morning guys. Um, I'll keep my video strictly business today, but we've had a really strange week. Um, the family, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know what I'm on about. But um, So, today we're installing a fan. I thought it was quite an interesting job, so let's turn the camera around and show you. So you come in the front door, this is a first floor flat. Um, so, ladder access for outside. So first thing, got an old square D board. These breakers are really hard to get hold of. So as I'm working in the bathroom, I'm going to put the lighting on an RCD. So what I'm going to do is pull the lighting feed out of here. I've got either cut a flush box in uh, or a surface box and put a um, 30 milliamp RCBO, uh, RCBO spur, a 30 milliamp spur up there with a three amp fuse because that will then fuse my fan and lights down to three amps. Six amp here, three amp there, RCD protection, cable goes off to the lighting. Fan isolator is getting mounted up high here. Um, concrete ceiling, so can't fish any cables. Light in there. Mounting a humidity stack there for this fan because this bathroom and flat gets a lot of humidity. I've told her because I think it's empty a lot of the time. She doesn't agree, but it's freezing in here. and We know what that happens, mould and stuff. Fans going out through the tiles up there and it's going to just get mini trunked on the ceiling. So that's a little job today. As you can see, I'm quite high up. So I've got the ladder on board. Um, that's going to be fun drilling the tile, four inch, but we'll see how it goes, eh? Um, just a side note, if you watched my last video, part one of a little refurb that I was doing, um, sadly, this week, um, the client, with what's happened with the family this week, the client wasn't happy um, that I couldn't attend for two days. Um, so unfortunately we fell out. Um, so yesterday I went to site, I cleared all my tools, I cleared all my materials that I'd bought um, and I left site and I told her I'm not coming back. Please find somebody else to do the job because I cannot work with um, people that are not very understanding. When you have personal matters, the family come first in my eyes, the job comes second. Um, I've been very... Um, kind to them. I've not sent them an invoice for the work I've done. I'm probably eight or nine hundred pound out of pocket now for that job but um, with the amount of grief she was giving me I said that's absolutely fine. I'll come clear my stuff and you can find somebody else to do the job. Um, I hope it goes well. So a lot of people probably would have reacted differently. Um, ripped cables out, cut stuff, knocked walls down, took stuff off but I left it all there. Literally left the shower cable in. Um, to the board, to the, to the, well, if you watch the video, you'll see. Everything I did, I left in, haven't touched, and haven't sent, they haven't sent me one penny um, of cost. So, um, yeah, sad really, but it's the first time that's ever happened to me, but um, I can't work with people like that. So um, I decided to pull off the job and, and enough was enough for me. So um, onwards and upwards, we've got a lot of work to do. So um, let's crack on with today. Right, before I start, I just thought I'd lay everything out just to give you guys an idea. Actually, let me just find the, there. So basically the, the, the cable's gonna be coming from the fuse board through this 30 milliamp RCD spur with a three amp fuse. Cables then go round all the lighting in the flat. So I'm gonna bring a free core, say the light is here in the, in the bathroom, I'm gonna bring a free core cable to this fan isolator. Then gonna take a free core, so that's a free core on earth, so that will give me a neutral, a switch line, a permanent line and an earth CPC to this isolator which will isolate this whole system. And from this isolator, again, I'll take a free core on earth to this humidity stat, which as you can see, needs a mains neutral, a mains live, <coughs> a switch live. And then all you do is run a two core, a fan live and neutral from that to a standard wall fan, which just requires a permanent live and a neutral. This does all the control of this fan, so if somebody turns the light switch on, this fan comes on. If the humidity rises, this fan comes on. Um, yeah, it just this works independent um, when it wants. Nobody has to interfere with it. And these ones are good because you've got the um, the client wants to be able to adjust the time and the um, humidity herself. So 
that's why I've gone with this. It's all surface, nice and easy for her. Uh, this is a rented flat, so she's it's empty at the minute. Um, as soon as this is done, she's going to rent it out. So this is the system I'm going with today. Um, it's easy when you lay it out here. Obviously a bit more difficult to install, but um, easy as that. Um, I've gone for one of these little wall vent kits. She didn't want any cold air blowing in. So in, um, I'll use these ones. So this will open out slightly when the fan kicks in. And then when there's no um, air pressure, this shuts and stops the um, pressure coming through back the cold air. Um, I've also gone for these. These are best of both worlds. They're rigid uh, metal duct. Um, this is quite a big cavity, so I wanted some that I could get this through. So I've gone for this one. Um, yeah, there's no explanation on that. Right, so unfortunately, the budget on this job does not stretch to a dust extraction system. I like you seen on my trusted electrician's video, Luke. But it does stretch to a bit of black tape, a rumble sack. I've gone centre of this tile, that's centre of the light, and that'll be centre of the fan. The trunking will run it long. Um, and also, I'm a little bit annoyed. I've got my whole uh, four inch hole cutter, but I've actually lost um, the centre metal arbor bit. So what I've done is just bought an earth bar. I'm gonna cut this down. This is a cheapest option, this is like three quid. This is a cheap option, cut these down, file it a little bit, and that'll fit inside the hole saw um, just to start it off for you. There you go, they do these in a 12 mil or a 10 mil bar. Mine's a 10 mil, so now, now that will go through my 10 mil pilot now, look. Super duper. It's a bit nerve-wracking, obviously, when you're drilling through tile, but I've done a damn good job of that. Now all I've got to do is cordial out the bricks. I won't film that because it's boring. There we go. And as you can see with this method, I've got no clearing up to do. <clears throat> Um, I'm just checking the manufacturer's instructions on this fan and if you read here a double pole fuse spur having contact separation of at least three mil in all pole in all pole poles must be used and fitted with a three amp fuse so make sure you just check your uh, wiring uh, manufacturer's instructions right just a little tip when you're putting your mini trunk it up um, focus. Um, if you just stick that on the ceiling and then um, hope it's going to stay, it won't. Um, two weeks time this is going to fall off or it gets hot and cold, hot and cold. Pump a few screws in it, one in the middle, two either end and that won't fall off the ceiling. What I'm also going to do is either silicon the edges um, down or paint as mate or something. Uh, I'm not decided yet but just got to put some screws in that one now. Right this is where we're at, fan and the trunking are done. That light was pretty good actually, it had two little knockouts on either side which I was able to use. So one cable comes from there, goes out to the isolator, a link back to the isolator and this cable comes all the way along here to the fan. And that only requires a neutral and a feed but I've run a free corn earth um, just so they've got the black if they ever need it and also the earth is earthing the cable. That's double insulated and IP44 rating. Um, same with that, that's double insulated and IP44 rating too. Um, it's outside the zone, bar fence there, and this is literally three meters high, so we're good to connect. Um, we all know that um, if there was a fire in here, um, this cable from here is completely tight along here. This cable from here is completely tight and goes out through the wall, so there's actually no slack. Even if this trunk is mounted and foul, this cable wouldn't fall. But anyway, I've put um, two and two of those um, FP little clips that fit inside this trunk and I'll go to the van and I only bought four up 
I'll go to the van and I'll show you which ones I've used. Um, I can't remember what they're called, Fire Angel or something. They go in there and then they, you bend the metal over and that's what he has. Um, right, fan isolator is in place. Blur. Trunking is all done. Fan's done, humidity stuff's done. I've isolated the circuit because I'm now going to fit this um, RCG spur. Um, I haven't isolated the circuit. Yes, I have. You can't see it, but so we're going to isolate the board here. We're going to take this cover off. I'm going to find this lighting circuit. There's two in the flat. Um, luckily, I'm working here. This one's still on, but obviously, when I isolate this full board, because these aren't good, I'll show you inside of here. Um, and then we're going to mount this somewhere up here. Don't know where yet. Right, I've actually um, left this main switch on. Look, look how safe this is. Really good. I'm impressed with that. It's got some covers. Um, that's a little bit exposed, I suppose, but. And then. Fair play to him, he's left lots of length and it's fairly neat, so I should be able to track down this circuit fairly easily. Either just push it into here or I might just pull it out, depending on what this, I think this wall's actually solid, so yeah, it'll just get butted up to the board and then get labelled up as um, lighting, bathroom, uh, bedroom, etc. Right, so there's the old feed, and um, pulled that out. That's now going to go to my um, out of my um, RCD side of this spur. This is my new feed into the board, which I'm going to make off. Give us all a good hoover out. Um, I've had to do it slightly off centre because this is full of cables. All I have to do is chisel that off in the back and see all the debris. And I've gone between. Um, they've actually capped these really nicely in oval conduits. So I've managed to go um, between. There's one going down there, and there's one there. So I've gone between both of the oval cappings there find somewhere to fit these bloody stickers now and this isn't the biggest board in the world is it let's have a look circuit chart on the front and that on the front yep yeah. i've got them to fit all i've got to do now there's my um new spur with the uh, 30 milliamp trip bit of three amp fuse for there from the van um give it a little hoover fill this out um Put the outside grill up and tidy up. Oh, she is. Get in there. Right, on. Great, fans come on. Because the light is on. Turn that off, fan carries on running, and that'll go off. I've set it to a minute, I'm going to set it to five minutes, and I'm going to set the humidity level for her as well. View. There we go. Luckily, I've got an open window here, so all my tools just come through there. The grill is done, um, silicon mining, don't know about you guys, but I always do. There we go, um, don't know why you can see that with the light, let me turn that off. Trunking's all sealed in now. She looks all right, so save on the comment. Oh, I hate surface trunking. Yeah, this is fit for purpose in this building. Bar chasing everything out. Um, isolator done, grill's done. All I've got to do get the last three bits out. I've hoovered up everywhere and just label that up.